At long last, and by popular request, welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Hidden Weapons video. So as time marches on, the military weapons of the world are changing, and Call of Duty is being updated to include them. By far, the most highly requested for Modern Warfare 3 is the XM7 rifle. In game, the gun is called the Bass B Battle Rifle. It's sort of a mix between the Army's new XM7 rifle and the MCX Spear, which is Sig Sauer's civilian version of the gun. So the main appeal of this platform in real life is how modular it is. It allows for easy customization to adapt the rifle to the combat scenario it'll be used in. We'll be showcasing a few different builds that we've found effective in different situations in Modern Warfare 3 that reflect different ways this weapon could be kitted out in real life. So the first build is inspired by the way the rifle has been kitted out in testing and combat applications so far. To make this build, you're going to want to add the 30 round mag, the Bruin Harmonic Suppressor L, the Ravage 20 Heavy Stock, and the SC-HM5 Hybrid Optic. With the extra attachment slot left over, I like to add the SC-1 milliwatt PEC laser for a more tactical look, plus it helps with aiming stability. So this attachment combination really helps with accuracy and range. This build is going to excel in medium and long range encounters. The Hybrid Scope also allows you to zoom in a little further, and you can even hold your breath for additional accuracy so you can really push out to some long ranges if you tap fire. I've found this build does really well in Warzone or multiplayer maps with long lane. So I also made a build based on the MCX Spear civilian version. The Bass B is really close to it at base, so I filled my attachment slots with things that are popular with real world operators and sports shooters. I added the 45 round mag, the L4R flash hider, the SC 1 milliwatt pack laser sight again, the OP X9 foregrip, and the SC Lone Wolf optic. This build has great aesthetics and great handling. The recoil is a little bouncy though, so if you're going to run this class, be aggressive and use movement and positioning to your advantage to catch enemy operators off guard in close to medium ranges. That's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it and want more, we'd love to have you subscribe and let us know what conversions or hidden weapons you'd like to see next time in the comments.